very beautiful Tuesday afternoon from wherever you are. This is Jalango TV and the program on air is Bonga Najalas. It doesn't get better than this. We doesn't even know where to begin because all we have to do is to thank God and give him praise that Harun is here with us. The last time Harun was here, it was sorrows, it was it was crying, it was a lot of things, it was fundraising so that Arun would be able to go to India. But now Arun has gone to India, he is back with good news. I don't know, Yani Yani ni God to Karibu Baba. How are you doing? I'm fine. Thank Paka you. Leo na smile, bro. <laughs> Yeah. I've never seen you smile this much, man. Yes, I'm fine, thank you. Kila kitiko sawa? Yes. Bro, sanitize. Ah! Kila kitiko sawa? Bro, sanitize. Ah! Ime kubali waku sanitize sayi. Mkoni me kubali. Very nice, very nice. Ah! Guys, if you can't remember, let me reintroduce Harun to you again. Harun came to this same seat where I seated here when he was looking for funds to go to India for his treatment this is after we saw his story from tuko and we said why not let's try and help andrew uh, harun get a chance to go to india and he went to india and today is the story of india and how it all happened karibu sana bro. Asante sana. so to mend to make kusanya pesa yes kila siku na kuuliza yeah. umetoka umetoka yeah. what was making you take too long before you went to india Okay, before he let him to raise funds, everything was fine. But all of a sudden, because of the issue of COVID, COVID, and then they get the coin that India is going to be and then India is going to be in any death kill or cut. So just like, Sandy is going to be and then something happened to me. So I was going to be able to do so that Kila Kitu is going set, then we move. Because kila mtu alikuwa ananiuliza yeah. what happened to Harun what happened to Harun yule kijana tulimchangia yeah. what happened i did not even know what to tell them yeah. i also didn't want to tell them that we have been chatting yeah. <laughs> yes hata mimi kuna nyoli kona ni sukuma wewe ujaenda india ujaenda india ujaenda india <laughs> but in the real life <laughs> where you end up please hata ujue as if you are sure <laughs> utakuaje but so so saizi haujaenda india uko na pesa kwa account <laughs> unainyonya polepole unaikula hapana after some time now after india settled down mm -hmm. nikaenda india sasa mm -hmm. yeah so the, did you pay the money while you are here or what happened uh, i paid some through bank transaction and then after there bado nikaendelea tu kulipa kulipa polepole nalipa tu polepole how much in total did you have uh, i went there with 3.9 million 3.9 million yes i remember yeah because we had tried to push it to get to 4 million yeah so we had raised 3.9 million yes wow yeah 3.9 million yes Treat, treatment mzima ilikuwa ikule pesa ngapi ilikuwa inakula 3.5 3.5 yes kumaanisha ulikuwa na ka 400 yeah, pale 400 sasa hiyo ni ya kukula and transport because you live mm -hmm. in a hotel mm -hmm. you don't stay in the hospital mm -hmm. you live in the hotel then each and every day you mm -hmm. travel to hospital mm -hmm. yeah sasa kulikuwa na ticket yeah kulikuwa na ticket uh -huh. na hizo nilipewa na governor joho governor joho it was such amazing <laughs> na kumbuka gavana Joho akiniambia ah we kijana wangu wako wapi anakutanga kijana wangu yeah. ameshatoka yeah. ati ticket ndio alikutumia ticket ya watu wangapi alituma watu wawili mm -hmm. yangu na my brother you and your brother yes mkatoka pole pole mkatoka pole pole tell me that day hiyo siku sasa Ay. sasa u, umetoka nyumbani madhari yes uh -huh. uh, Yani hata huamini hata usingizi siko anapata for those three days. Mm -hmm. Yaani un, unaenda kwa dege. Au <laughs> umewahi panda dege? Hapana <laughs> siko ipanda dege and then una, unajokienda sasa you are going for treatment. Unaona? And you are satisfied with what they are going to do with you. So unasikia you are so happy, you are excited. Unaona? Ilikuwa too very good. Kwa very fine. Alafu hiyo process bado unajua bado kulikuwa na tushida shida and then kuna kuna Eric from Uwe wa Joho alikuwa mm -hmm. anatusaidia na tupitisha SG nini you have to fill so many forms mm -hmm. na katusaidia tuka fill and then tukaenda kwa airport is just you are clear to go mm -hmm. nikasikia ni nimetulia so hiyo so time, time hiyo time mumeka pale kwa waiting yeah. lounge yes. mshapata ticket ya India yes. oh hiyo time ulipata ticket yako ulienda na ndege gani 
tuliana na Kenya Airways. Kenya Airways. Yes. So hapo mm. mmeka mm. ukaona sasa umepewa tiketi yako kwa mkono. Yes. How are you feeling at that time? I cannot even explain. Mm-hmm. It is unexplainable. Mm-hmm. Yes. Wow. Mm. So ndege kaitwa KQ6 nini nini yeah. living for India. Yes. Yeah, Wewe ndio huyo. Eh tukaingia huko ndani tukapata eh wengi ndio wahindi wamejaa huko ndani. Wahindi si wanarudi kwao shago <laughs> ni kama kupata msamaria mwema <laughs> si ni waluya wanarudi kakamega. Eh. <laughs> so we are just there it was such amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So ndio huyo. How many hours to India? To six hours. Six hours. Six hours. Mulilando wapi? Tulanda New Delhi. New Delhi. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Tulikuwa tume organize mtu akupokee huko. Walikupokea? Yeah. Unawapata hapo the, wa Malaysia bana they have written Harunga Tari Jeli. Mm. Unaenda tu hapo wanakupokea. Ndege ni gari kwa hapo. Gari kwa hapo. Straight, straight. Paka hospitali direct. Yeah, the, wanakupeleka hospitali and then from there hospitali uh, imekupokea wanakupeleka kwa hotel. Mm-hmm. Then from there you just connect. Mm-hmm. Yes. Wow. So uko India sasa. Uko India sasa. Wewe na mkono zako zimefura nini unasema to God yeah. please just do the best you can for yes. me. Yeah. Then how did the process go? Talk, talk to us. Okay, the immediately after we visited the doctor uh, we did he advised us we do several investigations. Mm. You know it they just they don't last into operations you what. Mm. So was done a lot of investigation wakajua shida ni nini what is happening bra bra if you do the surgery what are the outcomes you see all those investigations and then tukafanya kwa wiki moja we took one week to do the investigation one week one week hii bado mko hotel yeah you are just in the hospital when the mm. investigation the expensive lazima mulipe Muna, munaenda tena hotel mnarudi tena hospitali each and every day mm-hmm. ilikuwa tu hivyo mm-hmm. yes and then sasa after that ndio wakapata this condition is very rare mm-hmm. it only happened to in 100,000 people you can only find one person wow. i'm of course 100,000 people yes. only one only one I'm then okay. that day get there wakakwambia now tomorrow is your day unaenda operation sasa ilikuwa on thursday nakumbuka vizuri kwa on thursday thursday kesho asubuhi by 6 mm. be ready be in the hospital be in the surgery room first <laughs> Na unajua surgery lazima you have to prepare. Yeah, you have to prepare. Una biwaga vitu mingi, you yeah. can't eat, you can't do what 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 was the preparation of that time? Walikwambiaje? Waliniambia kitu wa kwanza hakuna kukula. Mm-hmm. Within the, the the last six hours you make sure you don't eat anything, you don't drink anything. You're mentally stable. Usiende huko kama uko na mambo mingi sana. Umeshiba, umeshimelewa, umefanya yeah. nini? Yeah. Mm. You might you jo hizo drugs you don't collide with them. Mm-hmm. Yes. And then so your morning ni kind of by 6. Uh, uh, of course I was there by 5:30 because it's something I was waiting my whole life. Mm-hmm. Nikafika hapo mapema wakanipokea and then lazima usign vitu zingine because unajua tena kwenda surgery sio mchezo mchezo. Yeah. Nika sign nikasema I'm okay and then from there nikachukuliwa na madaktari nikapelekwa surgery room. The first arrival You know uko kwa viota unapata machine zingine ujaiona ni machine kila pahali <laughs> machines a lot of machines are just like hey, oh my goodness hizi zote zimenikosa mimi ni Harun gitari niko hapa eh hizi au watu wanataka kunimaliza kabisa yeah. alafu wafanye ati mkono moja moja mm. they did both hands at the same time hii kuna daktari huku wengine wako huku they cross five me i was just like Yeah. Kama Yesu kwa msalaba. Mm. Wengine huku wengine huku. Yeah. Sasa kuna mkubwa wao anawaambia fanyeni hivi hapa anarudi sasa nyingine. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Wewe ulikuwa unajuaje mkubwa anasema rudi huku rudi huku. Sasa alikwani ulikuwa unaona before before sasa wa, wa kuweka hiyo ndawa ya kulala. Mm. They have to to before wanakulizanga unataka tufanye nini hapa. Unaona? Si atu melala tena uamuke upate umefanya vitu zao. They ask you what do you want us to do? Yeah, so before that your doctor anakuliza here tutoe hizi 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 hizi. So unaona tu venye anapita pita. And then after that unakuambia we are good. We are good to go. We are good to go. Uliwaambia wakufanyie nini kwa mkono? Niliambia make sure ile kitu mtaona possible. Mtoe. Anything that in terms of affect my future anything that in as a collides in my body make sure umetoa 
and then they were just like wakasema it's okay we shall you told them do anything possible do anything possible for me to be here yeah i just wanted to be better wow mm. then do you sindano ya kulala how many hours Seven hours Seven hours yes of surgery of surgery kuamka tu hivi was in icu kwa sababu your drug it was very strong and remember i bleed a lot during the surgery due to because the condition affect the secre, secre, uh, the the bones mm. they affected the osmosis so, of the bones <laughs> 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 so you find that the veins are, are also dislocated from their location so una pata i bleed a lot u so, bleed sare na bleed una bleed even the first week after the surgery which was just like nasikia tu kizunguzungu i have to took they gave me some drug ya kuongeza damu kwa mwili mm. yeah so when you tuni liamka hivi iko kwa surgery you know indians ukienda surgery wanakuweka two badges mm-hmm. kuna ile atapa Yeah, blue, blue or red, red. Yeah. yeah so the red you are dead yeah first thing kuamka ni kuangalia uko na badge gani by the time unaamka of course you are on a blue badge yeah <laughs> najua unaweza amka upate hauwezi amka ukiwekewa red <laughs> yani wewe ndio ile ile direction wewe sasa ni uko kwa mkono ya Simon Peter kufungulie so. gate ya binguni <laughs> So when you come up with the blue blue badge yeah we just like oh my goodness thank god i'm alive i'm alive that time mkono mkono kafila badge jo mezifunga kufunga unajua lazima wafunge vizuri ku control bado bleeding mm-hmm. yeah so bado bado niko hiyo section ya control eh, recovery room mm-hmm. up to the auto na kuangalia tu each and every minute mm-hmm. kuna daktari anakuja na kuangalia each and every minute na kuangalia mm-hmm. yes wow yeah wa, wa, wakisema nini all this time sasa so, so, lazima angalia consciousness yako before they they give you permission to go to the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And cool is are you feeling pain? Uh, uh give us the the percentage of the pain ukiambia ni 8 of 10 or 5 of out of 10 they know the drug to administer in you. Mm. Yes. So sayo umefungwa. Umefungwa. Wakakupatia how long? The... For recovery recovery the 2 hours 2 hours sasa ndio nikapele kwa kwa ward sasa hapo ni kulala ward ulichukua how long only 2 days i stayed in ward for 2 days mm-hmm. india za kuna kukaa tu ward ni ni uh, you, you live there for 2 days then they wanakupa ruhusa wende saa kwa hospitali then each and every day you have to go to the hospital for the check up how long did you get, go in for check ups 2 weeks it took 2 weeks wakienda na kufungua bandage they do the dressing because nilikuwa na bleed let, let me ask you mm. the first day while it was bandage kwa mkono wako mm. the first day you saw your hands yeah. what did you feel niliuliza kama ni yangu wow because even there was a time with my brother niliamkanga tu kwa bed kwa sababu nilijua nilikuwa nimezoea kitu mzito it was very heavy then nimeamka nikashindwa nini nimeangalia nyuma nikamwambia kuna kitu nimeacha kalebia pala kumbe ni mikono nimesikia iko rahisi azina i was carrying yes, something mm. i was carrying a load like how many kgs of meat did they drop off both your hands Two kgs Two kilos yes it was very One heavy kilo One. You used to walk with more than a kilo yeah it was very heavy very heavy When you went for surgery how many kgs were you have we nilikuwa na 60 60 kgs yeah kutoka kutoka nilikuwa na 57 like 3 kgs yeah. lost yeah there were bones bones and mm. <clears throat> sasa lafu wakakwambia nao you are ready to go home you yeah, are ready to go home sasa hiyo sasa pesa gani unatumia sasa hapo unajua <laughs> tulikuwa budget we had budgeted for at least 3 weeks in india mm-hmm. and then si kenya yeye so akasema akuji mm-hmm. kuna waka ha, kuna venye dage ili abisho <laughs> kenya yeye kenya yeye tulichapo huko wiki moja mm-hmm. so that when i called you nikakwambia my brother 
mi pesa menisha tufanye nini na kumbuka ukinipigia yeah. ukaniambia mm. kumenuka yeye ni kubaya huko mm -hmm. ni kubaya we need food we need to pay the, ho the hotel kutenda aje yeah. alafu najua singerudi hapa tena ni kuja niambie watu mm. kijana wangu amekwama india yes. <laughs> ya yeah, so venye tu nilikuambia ukaniambia nipe account and then I give you the account that to use na ukanitumia pesa I was just happy niliambia my brother angalia you are just like oh my goodness this is my best day ever eh najua to huko if you don't have somebody to look after you in Kenya shida inakuanga unaweza kuwa na matatizo but bro we come through and I was very happy yeah eh hey, mazemi ufurahi sana mtu akisema hivyo kwa sababu Arun was in India that time akaniambia pesa imewaishia then nikakuuliza tuma account ni kutumie kitu yes nikakuwekea akaniwekea <coughs> i was very happy sasa tais baba ah eh mazee yes i was very happy na mkalipa the bills zote kalipa bill mhm mm tukaendelea tu kukula tukalipa pia bili ya stima unajua uko kuna joto mingi mm -hmm. so lazima kuwe na AC AC na fans mm -hmm. yeah i was very happy for you bro welcome my brother yeah welcome welcome my brother mm hiyo -hmm. time ulikuwa pale mbaya eh hey, tulikuwa chini kwa chini eh you know you ukuwa huko hakuna hakuna venye unaweza waambia you know those people they don't know your language mm. they listen to the money you give them that is their language una pesa sasa hizo mm. na mko kwa hotel na mko kwa hotel na bado siku zingine nne ili dagaa yenu muende nayo ukakumbuka uko na ndugu yako EJ haya nikasema kabisa nikasema hapana hiyo nikakuwa i just texted you texted you and then over sudden he said it's okay bro let me look at it i was really happy you know that time i did not know what you are going through mm -hmm. sasa pre treating a treatment imesha wewe ndio huyo ndani ya ndege yeah i'm coming back home and coming back home yeah that was the best moment ever mkono imetibiwa imetibiwa uzito imetoka uzito imeisha uchungu imeisha unajua bado nilikuwa na uchungu kwa mikono mm. yeah then ya india umemaliza it is cleared ah eh oh my goodness <laughs> ah ndio mm. huyo wewe sasa kq inavuruta kuvuruta yeah. unasikia ka ndege vinyi natoka chini natoka kutoka <laughs> <laughs> nasikia ulitapika hapana oh, okay yeah. sawa watu yeah. unasikianga kama wewe si wewe yeah. mm. inaenda kama imeinuka inatafuta Ina upepo sasa sasa inavuruta 6 hours unakuja Kenya sasa alai ukaland Kenya wa kuland tu hivi mmetoka India mnapigwa set mm -hmm. pimwe covid 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 Ula, covid pimo hapo covid kama kitu kingine mm -hmm. tukapimwa 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 tukapatikana tuko sawa then we are released yeah ukaenda home madhari uko gedurai o ulishama madhari yeah. sasa hii uko gedurai yes tofauti kwa wapi hakuna ndiko uko tu unataka kwa rada wow let me give a big shout out to a few guys here anasema masike anasema god god to god be the glory Eh Aidan Kenya anasema God bless you guys. Dorothy Awino anasema Heavy J. Eh Desi anasema Jalaza Zuman we may tell you just thank you but I swear kama kuna binguni kuna kiti. <laughs> ah it is I really don't think cuz at that time I knew we had raised around 4 million for you. But then you had it to survive before you left yeah. because you could not do any work. I remember a few people who had come through that day. Uh, we had Governor Joho, we had Alan Chesang, mm. tulikuwa na Babu, yes. tulikuwa na team Yale, hapa mm. Miale. Yes. Ah, Sally my sister. Ah, Sally, I love you so much. 
ali come through yani wasee wali come through sana and everybody who had sent every single coin there team tuko and everyone yani god to our bless to in ways that you can never ever believe god to our bless sana yeah. then definitely when my brother was in india when gitari was in india pesa ikamwishia i could not come here nianze kuambia watu ati eh mnakumbuka ndio vile ulinipigia mimi nikasema wacha nicheze kama mi eh hey, baba yes umefika nyumbani uli, uli, ma, ma, mama aliona dada aliona mkono nini nini i live with my mom you live with your mom yeah alisema namna gani hakuwa naamini mm. so, so was just like oh my goodness how if nikamu akaniuliza how we feeling unasikiaje sasa kamwambia mgun mom she was very happy and uh, nikafurahia tu yangu yote nikasema walai wa Kenya wananipenda yeah because it is all about our unity as Kenyans that mimi nilisaidika jealous si wow. yeah ingekuwa tu ni mtu mmoja tungeweza but it's through the teamwork that we have as Kenyans nikaweza kusaidika nikaenda matibabu nika nikakuwa sasa nimetengenezo amount of pain yeah i can do something najua sasa hizi napika chai Unapika chai sai. Hey. Kitambo See, what are the that, things? Hmm? What are the things that you were able to do with your you were not able to do them but now unaweza fanya? Ah, uh, singeweza pia kujiosha mimi mwenyewe. I could not do the cleaning of myself, personal hygiene. Singeweza kutengeneza my bed. Singeweza kujifulia hata kanguo, unaona? Singeweza kupika, singeweza kuosha nyumba. Yeah, but saizi my friend as you are talking mm-hmm. asubuhi nikiamka eh, ni barikiwa na kama ziwa eh nakaekelea hapo lazima kapika kachai hapo eh, eh. unatengeneza bed nini natengeneza bed na jiosha mm-hmm. yani tu niko Nika, could you raise your hands so that people can see the changes bro ime change eh walai ime change kabisa imekuwa tu dogo Unaona hata kama hii jako nimevaa ningekuwa na hiyo mikono ingine singevaa ingepita hapa. Hey mzee God ni mkubwa. Yeah. God ni mso. Yeah. Hey bro mi sijawahi lia kwa show yangu mzee mm. lakini hey God ni mso. Yeah. Ah. Hey Arun my brother I love you so much. Me too. I love you so much my brother. And through you mzee mimi nimeona God. Yeah. Yaani kitu God anaweza fanya ya msee. Mm. Paka yani ukiwa hapa leo yani una smile hivi yani. Mimi na feel tu yani ai. Siku moja tu asewe waweze ku kusema kitu god anaweza fanya kwa maisha mtu. Yeah. The good thing about you, you have the human humanity in you. Yeah. Even after ni come after in the text, I usually text you and you reply just like Jalas is reply to my text. Oh my goodness. Any ajani achilia. I'm very happy for that, bro. And God bless you. Is mazi. Guys I hope one day you find it in your heart to to just do the best for people around you without ever thinking what they can get back from you or what they can do for you without ever thinking where somebody comes from without ever thinking You know some people always take this what we do here as as just jokes or anything that you I didn't know that this platform that we have here would be something that would change people's life and how they see what God can be able to do people talk so much people say a lot but on this same same platform 
we've had life changing moments things that maybe somebody like Harun here would be able to tell people out there and just tell God thank you I never thought that I can get this emotion about what God can be able to do life is so good when you have everything but I think it's even much better when people are happy because of you when people can come back and just say thank you we don't give back or we don't help people for PR we do, do this thing so that the little that we have or the opportunities that God has given us we are able to in one way or another give back to the community I don't know who Aaron is I don't I've never even been to his house I've no I don't know his home or anything but God gave me a platform where Aaron can be able to sit tell you guys and we raised money he went to India and this same same person if you saw where Aaron was five months ago you can't believe that this is the same Aaron that is here smiling when he says that he can now wash he can can clean Maze. Maze God our blessed to son. I hope one day wherever you are, you do something for people to ever say thank you. God is a God of second chances and he has given my brother Arun Gitari a chance. One more chance to to be happy and smile. If you guys knew what this guy was going through that time. I hope one day God gives you a chance to help and give you a chance to to make other people smile. But sometimes even as we do it people discredit and they don't see what we do. But I hope that this platform here will one day give so many other people a chance to see their story and Now, now that you are, <coughs> you, 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 you are back, you are back here at, at home, what have you been doing? Uh, for now, I don't do anything in the car too, because Babu, what we raised was used for treatment. And uh, right now, I don't know what to do. I don't know when you have a because my mom cannot. As is mama na mimi at your same, how do I do this for you? Because it's just an issue many nature but I'm now down. Miss you, ni fanya nini? I don't know what I can do at least. But if somebody and as an issue idea na when you have a moke, because size na teseka, and uh, I don't want to go back to the street where I was because. 
mimi nilikuwa naomba before ni before some some good people came for me because, before jalasu ni pay platform i used to go into the street and beg because i didn't have a job my mom cannot help me so we just like there wezi ka tu kwa nyumba uchungu kwa mikono you cannot work for yourself but whatever i may say now i'm very grateful na inashukuru wa kenya they helped me to go to india for the treatment i'm out of pain the last will in pay platform you didn't know me we came here and raised a lot of money and i'm very happy for that na hiyo that the teamwork that we have as kenyans mungu tu atusaidie tuendelee tu kuwa nayo because that is what i'm a fruit of this platform jalas so what is this one thing you think you are able to do that can change your life I can start a business because right now um i'm able to think well because i'm out of pain yeah I can create my youtube channel and also continue listening about something and something right now my mind is open because unajua jelas wakati uko na uchungu hata kufikilia uwezi fikilia but right now i'm good na inaweza i can can start my own business but i don't have the funds i can create my youtube channel yeah what business are you thinking that you are able to do uh okay na zeka vitu za electronics electronic shop and can i can sell Mm-hmm. Yes. Do you have a budget? Do you know do you know any place? Do you have a proposal? Have you done a research? Yeah, actually I've done a lot of research and uh to be able to have a good shop that will be able to to equip you yani iko na kila kitu. Averagely unaweza keza kuwa na artist uh because kutengeneza hizo shelf nini na nini uko na budget 800000 unaweza saidika na hiyo mm-hmm. yeah is a quarter trist you have something unaweza kuwa trist customer akikuja akona ana part uko na kila kitu is just like let me continue buying but from unaweza za pole pole ukigrow you start at least you start from somewhere you have to start from somewhere is your number still the same yes or the number it is 0714 47 3175 0714473175 but my number Zero seven one four four seven three one seven five. uh name will appear Harun Gatari Njeri uh yes that my number na jina itakuja Harun Gatari Njeri Zero seven one four four seven three one seven five. Picha Claire, do you have Harun's number? You place the number there. Guys, so Arun Arun is back. Arun is back. And Arun is uh, trying to put to put things together for himself. And I just want to thank everybody who came through before he went for his treatment in India. And uh, you know we never beg so much. But uh, truth is when we come together, you are able to create something small for Andrew Harun here to to start again because the treatment is here is moved from the street from begging people na he will still be going for checkups left right and center but now he just wants something to start doing because his treatment took every single thing every single thing that we had raised here we had raised around 4 million shillings so the best thing is his number is out there if you are able to support him in any way just come through and support Harun Harun <laughs> I I can't take this show anymore okay. uh,
I'm very emotional right now, so I would just like to just look at the camera and just talk to Kenyans yeah. about what you'd like them to do for you yes. and what from here. And just say thank yous, all your thank yous and everyone who's seen you come to this place. Yeah. Back to you. From the people who gave you the first platforms yes. everywhere. Yeah. It's uh, your stay. I'm very happy. Uh, the Tuko family who came through for me. Mulini uh, Saidia, na God bless sana. And then, kuna Kigosho FM, Karango Moraya. I'm very grateful for you people for this idea. Kenyans, I'm very happy. And I repeat it again, I'm very happy. And uh, what a place, our unity. And uh, we can be able to solve some people's problem like mine. I was in pain. I cannot pay my own ticket to India, but God came through. Governor Joho alinili pay your tickets. There were two tickets. If we are united as Kenyans, we can do great things. After Kurudi India, uh, now my life started somewhere. Saizi kusema tu kweli, I don't have anything in my account. As you can see, I cannot do that a very big uh, hustling, says the end of ground, Fanya Mjengo, Amanini. So, Kenyans, I still need your help. Wherever you are, Nonaskia Uneza Nisaidia with anything. Just come through for me. That is my number on 0714-4731-75. Uneza Nisaidia Vejatu Naweza, and God shall bless you. Kosababu, always be grateful when your God amekutoa. And always be thankful for what you have. For now, Kenyans, I have you. Vajatum will come through for my first section. I pray that you come through for my second section for about my life. Because I still need to be going for uh, for checkups, follow-up. Because as you has heard that, this condition of mine is very unique. I need several follow-up. Now, we come through and your God at our bless. Thank you very much. Guys, uh, like I've told you in the comments, uh, I'm very sorry for breaking down. It wasn't intended or anything, but uh, sometimes God has amazing, amazing ways of manifesting himself and showing his work to us. And uh, first I want to take this opportunity to thank the Tuko family led by the CEO himself, Ramenya, for giving him a platform. That is where I met this guy. And to all of you who sent every single thing, every single coin, to make sure that we had reached the 4 million shillings that helped our brother go for treatment. If you see his hands now, and where he was the last time he was seated here, <laughs> only God knows. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you get to support Gitari in his business. Sometimes we do our part, we wash our hands. The little I'll have, I'll still be able to support him. But then again, it is up to you guys now in your small way to help our brother Harun Gitari. This is the Lango TV. And that is Bonga Najela's live from Miali, Kenya's best restaurant. Make sure that if you've never visited Miali, Pitia, we have our new disco area. Kuja to Pige Shere. Thank you guys. At least I was happy to smile.